We talked about survival shelters and setting up a quick survival shelter, carrying this piece of equipment already prepped so in a bad situation we have ourselves a quick and easy shelter. Last video we also talked about if this shelter reaches its failure point with most likely the grommet tearing away, how we can fix that with just a simple stone. But is there anything else that we can do to get this tarp even a little bit more prepared for when we go out into the wilderness type setting? There absolutely is. So stay tuned and we'll show you what that is. So how we can fix the problem of these grommets pulling away from our tarp is quite simple. We just wanna take some simple duct tape. You can use regular duct tape. I have Gorilla brand duct tape here. And then you'll either need an, an awl or your knife or a nail to punch that center point back out. So what we can do is take a piece of duct tape, just about six, seven, eight inches in length, and just run it along the edge of our tarp, over the edge, and down the back side. Very, very simple. Now what I did was I just took an awl that I had in my kit and I can re-punch out that grommet point and then I can run my cordage back through here. So you can see once I reattached my cordage, we're back to the beginning. The only thing we did was now reinforce these weak points, which are the grommets. Of course, I had these tarps for a while and I've had very, very few that actually tore all the way out, but over time they do start to wear and they start to pull apart like I showed you earlier in this video. So by putting this piece of tape with the adhesive holding onto the tarp, we just reinforce this entire grommet point. And when I do this, I've never had a tarp fail on these corners for me. So that's one tip that you can do if you want to just prepare your gear a little bit better before going out into a wilderness type setting. And then you don't have to take the route of, well, what if in the middle of the night something did happen because of a bad storm? We're not looking even for just a rock. It's already taken care of because this is not going to fail you um, the majority of the time. This was Dan Wolwak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this little tip on how to get your survival shelter even a little bit more prepared for when you go out into the wilderness. If you haven't already, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com and stay in the woods, guys.